Oh, what are we all? So I'm back from my seven day holiday. We went to Filey, Scarborough. We had a great time. Um, the weather wasn't great, probably similar to what you guys have had. We had one really good day and then not, it was on and off after that. So, so anyway, come back. Found the goldfish. The goldfish was in there. The goldfish was in this tub of lilies. Now this, I've come back and I had to just top this up. So I've literally come back, seen the neighbour on the front who's looked after the garden and everything. The plant's all great. But she just said it's making a noise and the water level had dropped. So this water level had dropped. I've got a leak somewhere. So I've isolated this plant filter. So I'm going to put some um, blanket weed answer in there so you'll get rid of that greenness and it was fine it was fine I can't see any wetness anywhere I don't think it's tracking underneath the pond is now clear as you can see which is marvellous how clear that is now so they've just been fed so come and join me to the bottom of the garden. What I'm not glad to be back with too is neighbouring noise and whatnot. Because it's been really quiet where we are because it was actually a farmhouse cottage converted and it was really quiet, mega. Just a bit out of the way. Would have preferred to be near a beach. Oh, they're all right. The bees are looking good there. So, they're okay. So I've not been in here yet. So this is literally after a week. Put them on there. The auto watering has been on for them, which is great. In here. Oh, they look good. So far, no dramas. Oh, they're looking nice. Hey, so they're probably out without food. Oh no, still got some left. So they've had it been trickling in. Absolutely awesome. So they're doing well. So what I did do before I went, and I said I weren't going to do it, was have my trickle on. So I've turned the trickle on. So that's why the the water level's high. It's been trickling in a lot. Oh, you drip. And that one's the same. The cleaning. You can see the back there. I took the pipe off, the dip pipe thing, because I thought because I turned it down again, I was getting a load of the uh, dissolved organics in there every time I messed about with it. Well, now obviously they're coming through. The disturbance is coming through. I actually put that on so it causes. A bit of a closed loop so there's no airflow into this or minimal airflow so let's put this on you can't see that I don't think it's clearer to me pH of 7.8 temperature 23.4 air source heat pumps currently off but as you can see there's a lot more dissolved organics in here fish are looking great I've got to say the feed has obviously been doing well that's probably ready to be topped up oh that's strange yeah probably a day so there so I know that with this system I can easily last a week bloody marvellous Absolutely marvellous. So, uh, let's have a look in here. Whoa, that's a bit high. That is a bit high, look. Some of the, the media's in there. So why is that? That is on its maximum level where I really didn't want it now. 
I've probably got too much flow running through this because I thought before I left and cleaned it out that looked a little bit less so what I did I totally turned this one off and tweaked that down a little bit so I've obviously actually pushed it too much <clears throat> so I can even turn that open that a bit more and get water flowing through there a bit more then reduce that or crack that one open or turn the flow down I took this out as well that's actually the top cleaning pad there for that so I would expect probably a little bit more muck in here now or in these but it probably works through so yeah I know what I might leave that off I just looked in there so yeah it's just the dissolved organics now in the water now that's not necessarily a bad side if you look at like a lot of koi nurseries and koi farms they do have a lot of movement they do have a lot of DOCs in especially if you have your feeding and this is going to be going up now I'm back so I'm going to up these feeds to try and get onto a maximum amount of food now in here so now I've took that tube off and it was collecting in the bottom of here I think it, the DOCs were collecting in the bottom of there because it went up and over like that now they're not it's just whizzing straight down smashing against there creating that movement and now I've got DOCs and obviously with the higher the food going in the more dissolved organic compounds are in there therefore you're going to get more but it's, like I say when you feed more you're going to get more of a tinge of water it's going to get a more yellowy colour probably most likely like it's got tannins in there and that's from feed another load of organics and also good of the smashing of water I've got the airborne now as well look when the bubbles push right over here which is great and the fish are looking great so what I'm in here now my job now is to purge the clean that and fill that up so I've got to clean this filter and then take me a minute and then we look at this as you can see I've probably about pushed the maximum there because the water I'll tell you what it's done because it's remained quite high because I'm trickling in it's remained at a high level see the water there look what I have got there look a little bit of tracking so the water is going through the bottom and it's just tracking a little bit there look you can see it there coming over the top and through so and there's the center but I've been able to leave this a week seven days Friday to Friday and look at it mega so let's have a look you normally find that they get a lot more of the muck collecting there look where it comes in so it's coming in there looks quite clean there that it's all mounting there so let's have a look down this side yeah loads of muck there look and then it stops there look so yeah i am over the moon with that so all i've got to be careful now is when i put the pipe in not to disturb it too much so this is all going off now what i've got to decide is do i leave the trickle on or not because i turned it on see there and i've done that this week because i knew i was going to be um away for the week so i knew that the chances are because i weren't going to be cleaning them out for a good week for a whole seven days that the water level will drop and I didn't want that to happen so let's see if this has dropped not yet not yet oh it's all full of K1 in here look let's drag this out Oh, 
Mm. Well, there's still the good thing about K1 is it floats, look, so you can easily get it out. You can see it coming over the front edge there, look. Because the water level in here is too high. So, what I've got to be mindful of is when I isolate this, which I'm going to do now. There we go. going to so that's off so the water can't go up there so what I'm going to do is carefully put that in there I've noticed it doesn't go in as easy since I cut the bloody that cut cut the inner bit down there you go that's in pump off bottom drain off and what I do let me open that and I backfill it backwash it so I'm backwashing it's been backwashed drain it a bit so that's been backwashed down this part now so that's coming down there down there down there and that's been clean now look so we'll see that this, that's lovely and clean that pipe out. That's down now as we can see, but still bubbling away nicely. Let's have a look at the fish now. Look at the Tamasaba, my God. See if we can. So we turn the, oh, I think it's this one. That's the one, look at the difference. Let's see if we can get a look at the fish. Can you see the circulation from the water coming out of there? Look. Now, one one fish that does look bigger, definitely, is the uh, Sankey, the Sakai fish farm. Can you see it there? Look at that. That's definitely put on some body volume. Definitely can see the difference in that. And the Maritan Goshki from Sunnybank Koi there. That looks more of a presence now. Look, can you see it? Whereas that was more of a sliver. The Kajaku as well is looking nice. That's putting on some body. So they all look like they are. So we'll leave them to it. So let me put the air back onto them. That's all drained down now. Look, you can see all the muck that's dragged out. You can see all the muck on the brushes. that there's a hell of a lot of muck in there look lovely so what I'll do now is uh, these are looking mega these are Especially that one, that one that was nearly on death's door. So we've got that split fin, but it's looking very healthy now. So yeah, everything's looking great. Seven days, no dramas. So uh, just got to find out why that water the pond water level is dropping down there. Look at these as well. Look at this colocasia. Oh, 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 look at that. They're doing mega this year. So they need a bit of water. The looks of it. Because I do like a lot of water, these colocasia. 
you can actually find these in some garden and um, pond places i seen some at a garden centre the other week and actually sat in a little bit of water in the bottom so you could actually have these as pond marginals just sat on gravel in a little bit of water not a lot just sort of keeping the feet moist so you can get closer to these without spooking them So what I am doing this this year, and I've said it before in previous videos, but if you've not heard me say this, these aren't coming out until September, October, when they'll be doing harvest in Japan. So I'm going to kind of mirror that, but I'm not harvesting them, I'm not moving them anywhere, but what I will be doing is getting them out, giving them a health check, and giving them a measure to see what this summer, in terms of growth, has achieved, and having a look at them. So that's what I'm going to be doing this year because i am tempted though to get the sakai fish farm tancho sankey out to see if that has grown and if so how much since i've had it so i've got a marker on that one fish is it a centimeter two centimeter three four i don't know so i'm just interested to see shall i just get that one fish out net it up put that bowl in it'll be in there for literally 30 seconds measure it up while it's all quiet job's good and then i can then i'll know if that has grown since i've had it of course so there it is fish farm and on the 21st of June that was 23 centimeters so and it's obviously now the 12th so it's not even had a month yet but um, yeah so it's probably a bit early way to get it out but i'm just interested because it should have grown some so if i were doing well within that time it should have grown at least one two centimeters it certainly looks more of a presence so if i creep up it certainly looks more of a presence since look look at it it just looks it's hard to tell on camera because i think on camera koi always looks smaller on camera a lot smaller for some reason but to me in person it definitely looks more of a presence and the tamasaba wow that's that's doing well on the old uh, sake growth look at it look at the tamasaba <laughs> and definitely the kurogoski there they're all doing mighty fine so I might do I might get it out and have a look if I do I'll report at the end of this video it'll only be a sliver of a recording at the end because that's 18 minutes of waffling already so there you go seven days on holiday I've come back that's been the complete reality nothing hidden whatsoever like I say I've had some water loss on the pond up there and I think it's the plant filter at the end but I thought I'd sorted that that's full of muck I'm going to do a full water test so actually I'm going to do a full water test and I will report back what the ammonia is so I know what it was like before I left it was on 0.17 on the ammonia checker and the nitrite was just a sniff so I will be interested to see what it's at now after a week of no cleaning because you would expect it's gone up wouldn't you but I put a pure pond ball bomb in there. Not a full one. About half of one of them. So, uh, yeah. Be back. So, the, night, the ammonia test is uh, done cooking. 0.13. That's actually 0 0.05 lower than the reading last week, a week ago on thursday so it's friday the 12th and this was done eight uh eight days ago i tested the ammonia and it was 0.17 and 
and it's now 0.13 so very similar reading so despite having all that muck in it for well building up for up to eight days because I cleaned that out eight days ago on the Thursday the day before the night before the ammonia hasn't gone up and the nitrite is still reading zero on the ammonia on the API test kit there you go big thumbs up so I've just got a couple of brushes out clean those that's what it looks like with that with two brushes missing I pull them out and I give them a bit of a hose out before I pull them out so I don't splash myself with any muck or anything spray them in there then any water any dirty mucky water I go and put on some plants outside so I don't waste that always be careful though if you've got salt in your water don't put that on plants unless you're putting it on weeds and it might knock them back a bit but there you go happy days all I'm going to do now is have my coffee got some water going here I've got my uh, sodium thisulfate solution and I'm just debating with myself do I turn the trickle off now because this has been up until a week ago on a closed system it was open system trickling in but the thing is when you're trickling in you're then because it's then an open system because you're allowing water to trickle in you've got to make sure the incoming water is absolutely spot on and you don't know what metals are in that water and what they're building up with in the system so i think i'm going to go back to a closed system and turn those off in fact i've just decided i'm going to do that and i'm going to be turning them off right now there we go so they're off and that's that off so now i'm going to put some clean those out put those back in get it all balanced back up put some pond detox in give them a dose of that and then uh bob's your uncle fanny's your aunt but yeah happy with that i was expecting it to have gone up so on that note out thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscription bell the notification as well and please hit like on the video the sun is about to come out it seems a bit brighter here than it has did it did in filey if i'm honest with you it looks like there's been a bit more sun on and off here it was a bit more cloudy there but anyway enough of that how are your ponds doing drop a comment down below let me know things here are looking good so i'm going to be up in this feed now i did up one actually i said i weren't going to so i will before i do go um i've done my thank yous so to conclude on the feeder i did up one of the afternoon ones to two to, to number two so that will give um probably i weighed them out on number one and i put that little adapter in there that i made in the feeder behind me there um it was on average about six grams per feed on number one so on two it was doing about twice that so uh, yeah i'm going to start and so on one of the feeds in the afternoon i upped last week so i'm going to have a look through those settings and have a look and up another one and i'm going to keep creeping up now for the month of july for the rest of july and hopefully i'll be on my maximum feed throughout august happy days how are you doing i still see people messing about with nitrite and stuff and it's really sad actually because you're not getting the benefit of the full season because at this time of year now especially if you've got 24 degrees in your pond water like i have i've been running free sailing now for, for may and june already and i'm already into july so two and a half months plain sailing no issues i've tackled everything in autumn and winter anyway see you on the next one